Tell me how you come up with this idea. Well, it's Christmas Carol, so it's uh, it's pretty traditional. And um, I was looking around online for so, something to do, and of course the scripts are quite expensive. And Glynn, a master writer here, um, works with the Woodlanders, said that he would um, he would stump up and do a script, and boy, oh boy, that was fast work, Glenn, really fast work. Oh, it was a complete pleasure. It's a, it's a lovely story, one of my favourites, and uh, it was just a, a joy to do, really. And now, Froom FM is proud to present a short radio play based on Charles Dickens' classic Yuletide story, A Christmas Carol, adapted for Froom FM by Glenn Carpenter. Cheat. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a crumb of cheese, or a fragment of underdone potato. There's more of gravy than of grave about you. Humbug, I say. <laughs> do you believe me now? I, I, I do. I, I must. But why do you walk the earth? And why come to me? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. What, what business brings you here? Your welfare. My welfare would be better served by an undisturbed night's sleep. Until only one gain possesses you. I should rather say I am wiser than I was, but I'm not changed towards you. Am I? Our contract is an old one. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. Well, I never. Here's your due, then. So, he frightened everyone off while he was alive to profit us when he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Scrooge was as good as his word and better. He did all he promised and much more besides. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he became as a second father. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the good old city knew. And it was said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well, if any man alive possessed the knowledge. May that be truly said of us, and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. Merry Christmas!